Hey guys, I'm Teresa Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very fun what I eat in a day vlog. So this is a what I eat in a day high school edition. The reason that I'm calling it high school edition is because this is what I ate every freaking day in high school. I know it's because I was on a strict, not strict, but like I was just living the same life every single day. So I was just find myself eating the same food. And I'm someone that I don't mind when I eat the same food every single day. And you guys notice that I eat a lot of the same foods every day and I don't mind. I really Really, when I like a food I eat it a lot and I really really loved the way I ate and also that is when I lost my most weight was when I was in high school so I went from looking like this to this so I lost a good amount of weight in high school um, and the end of my senior year is when I really started to get healthy and I credit this mostly to being plant-based, not vegan, because what up Freely the banana girl. I was plant-based, which if you don't know what plant-based is, um, it's a vegan diet pretty much. No two bodies are made the same, so if this works for me, that's great. It might not work for you. Maybe your body reacts totally different to all these carbs. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the Starling fam. I upload videos as much as I can. Get ready, because a ton more are coming out. If you guys are part of my Starling fam, welcome back. Miss you guys so much. So without any further ado, let's get on to the video. For breakfast in high school, I would always have a fruit bowl and my mom was an angel in high school and she made my breakfast and my lunch and my dinner. <laughs> so I was very spoiled in high school, um, but she would wake up at 6 a.m. every day and make me my breakfast. How freaking cute is she? And my lunch. So I would normally eat this. Um, I wouldn't really have time in the morning because I woke up so late. So I would always eat this in my car, which is something that is really easy to do. So... I would just eat whatever fruit was on hand. It was about a cup of fruit every morning. So today I just did a little bit of bananas and some strawberries and some blueberries. Then once all my fruit was in the bowl, I like to add a little drizzle of agave. And then I'd always put a little granola in there just for a little bit of extra crunch. And then you can take this with you in the morning, eat it in the car, on the train, while you walk, whatever you gotta do. And that was always my breakfast. For lunch, um, this is a super, super easy lunch and it's very easy to pack in the morning. It only takes about five minutes and it really would keep me full until I left school. So this is just some Ezekiel protein um, English muffins, but any bread will work right here. Um, I'm just making a peanut butter banana sandwich. They were my favorite sandwiches ever. Peanut butter that I'm using is a Santa Cruz peanut butter and the ingredients are just peanuts and salt. So no added sugars there, just keep it very... Um, natural and then I just throw on some banana onto it uh, the, these are pretty small so they only fit about four slices of my banana and then you just eat the rest of your banana with like your lunch or whatever um, or my mom would put it in my fruit bowls in the morning because she'd make my lunch and my breakfast at the same time and that was that super easy and really really yummy I looked forward to it every single day I'm not kidding it was like my favorite it was like the highlight of my of my day then I would always have apples with peanut butter so whatever apple we had on hand right now I have golden delicious which are amazing right now I think they're in like season or something because they are so yummy right now so I would have one full apple just in a little baggie like this and then my mom would always give me peanut butter to dip it in and again the same peanut butter Santa Cruz um dark roasted peanut butter. Put that in a little cup and then take it with you to school and just dip your apples in it. Then I would also always have veggies. So I like to have baby carrots and hummus. And I used to eat so many carrots in high school. Like my mom would buy the big family size bag and I would finish it in five days. So I ate carrots all the freaking time in high school. So I would just have carrots and then hummus. My favorite is the Sabra hummus. Um, I've tried a bunch of different kinds, but this one I think just tastes the best and the ingredients are fine. So I really like this one. It's just the original. Throw that in a Tupperware, put a lid on it, and uh, you are good to go. So you have a little sandwich, you have apples and peanut butter, and you have carrots and hummus. So dinner was different every night. My mom, like I said, was an angel and she would cook for me. So um, she would just make whatever dinner she thought. I th at the time, I was the only plant-based one, so um, she would always try to make me a special dinner, and sometimes they would eat it too. So my mom actually made this for me, but I'll let her explain to you what it was. Just it's sautéed onion and beans, and I put um, 
just a couple ounces of vegan sausage in there, that gimme lean vegan sausage, which is really good. Tomato sauce, diced tomato, chili seasonings, I guess it's about it. Um, Yummy! I would have tried to recreate one of her dinners, but it was very authentic for her to make a dinner because this is exactly what it was like in high school. So these are just the leftovers of what I have, and I would normally have like leftovers a lot of nights. I would do burrito bowls, I would do meatless chili, um, or I would do a lot of stir fries, anything like that, pasta, spaghetti, a lot of carbs at night. But yeah, that was my dinner. I just threw it over top of a sweet potato, and uh, yeah, that's what I would eat. So I hope you guys all enjoyed that video. I hope you found it somewhat helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also let me know what are some of your other favorite, you know, meals you guys would pack for work or for school or for whatever. These are really easy, quick meals. They don't really take a lot of time and um, anyone can make them. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.